Hey, you bald rhino here. This is in response to Ray from Philly's contest. He asked for three of your favorite Hall of Fame cards, and these are my three favorite. The first is the 1969 Topps Johnny Bench. It's his all-star rookie card, second card, and it's his best card in my opinion. It's my favorite card in my collection. Um, Johnny Bench was the best player to ever live in my opinion, and certainly the best catcher. And he uh, is famous for holding seven balls in his hand at one time. And a fan didn't believe him and sent something in, so a photographer actually took a picture of it. So it's pretty amazing. But I remember crying when the Reds lost and the euphoric feeling of them winning the 75 series against the dreaded Red Sox. And then coming back and beating the Yankees in four was a beautiful thing. Uh, the second a Hall of Famer that I love the most in, ter in terms of my collection is the Ricky Henderson card. It's the most iconic card in the entire hobby in my opinion. Ricky was just an incredible player to watch. Just a unique talent. Nobody ever liked him before or after. Uh, he leads the majors in history in stolen bases, runs, and walks. He had a perfect skill set for that type of um, attack of the uh, offense and a perfect leadoff hitter. Uh, one of the most amazing things about Ricky Henderson is he only stole home four times. Uh, and by contrast, Ty Cobb stole home 54 times. So Ricky was an incredible player. I just loved watching him play. And then last but not least, uh, Roberto Clemente, one of my favorite players. But this is one of my favorite cards. These are my top three favorite cards. But the Roberto Clemente 71 in an eight. Uh, oh, I'll go back and tell you the Ricky Henderson's a PSA nine, but the Roberto Clemente is a PSA eight. And in that 71 tops, it's virtually impossible to get a card in that good a condition. And that card is perfectly centered and one of my favorite cards. But Clemente was just a tremendous man and a tremendous player. He was the first Latin American Caribbean Hall of Famer. Uh, interestingly, during his rookie season, he was in a car accident and injured his back, so he got off to a very, very slow start. And he's the only Major League Baseball player in history to actually have a walk-off inside the park Grand Slam home run in 1956. And so he he was special. So that's the first part, Ray. Uh, this is my first uh, ever contest. I hope you enjoy it. Take care.